Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be talking about Translation Workbench. One of the questions that many of our new admins ask is how they can translate custom terms when their org is in multiple languages. Luckily for us there is the Translation Workbench which makes this job really easy for us. Let's jump in and take a closer look. Firstly, you will need to enable the Translation Workbench. You will need to be in the Setup menu and search for Translation and then click on Translation Settings. Simply click on Enable as your first step. Next, click on Add to select the language you wish to translate your custom terms into and make sure it is set to Active. Then select the name of the translator who will be responsible for that language. Now, click on Translate and we can get started. There are lots of custom terms that you will need to consider translating, such as custom picklist values, custom field labels, error messages for lookup filters, and much, much more. We'll be starting by selecting the setup component that we wish to translate. The component is simply the element we want to focus on, such as a custom field. Next, we select the object and finally the aspect of the component, such as the field label or the help text. To translate the field label, as an example, you double-click directly into the field label translation field and enter the translation and then click Save. That is immediately live for users that are looking at the user interface in the Spanish language. In the Setup menu in Translate, if the English or default language term is changed, the Out of Date field is ticked. This shows the translator what they need to update. Another great feature is that you can export and import your translations. This makes it really easy if you are using a third party translator. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Ah!